and um, so thanks everyone for making this trip. And a big thank you and round of applause to the organizers to the Conway Business. There's three people in this room that woke up before 3 a.m. today to come here early to make things happen. So big, big thank you to you guys who did the organizing and the shopping and putting this all together for us. Really excited. Yeah, I, I didn't know much of what was going to be happening because I was not involved in the planning almost at all. I think I was the tiebreaker on like one or two things, like the t-shirt design, which is fantastic. I broke the tie, so bias. <laughs> um, but at one point, there was an idea that was floated, and I might ruin it for future retreats, but it's not happening now. There was an idea that was floated that we were going to do a uh, talent show, a three pillars uh, property management talent show, which got me thinking of like, what are my talents? <laughs> I came up with a talent, and we're not doing a talent show, but I'm still going to do my talent for you guys. And then I'm going to tell you three reasons why I chose to show you my talent despite not having a talent show. <laughs> so, I'm going to perform for you guys. The very first time. Oh my god. A four trick magic show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think two of these I've never actually tried before. <laughs> so either way, this is going to be great. All right. The first trick is a pretty simple one. A lot of people have probably seen it. It works really great on people from the age of one to six. We'll see how it goes here. So you guys can see I have a ring here. Small, it's up close, but yeah. And I watch very closely. Dean, raise your right hand. Dean, we're in that trick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me back no. <laughs> I've been up here for like two minutes. <laughs> oh, all right. Great trick. All right. Second trick. Was that very good? Oh, the trick was Dean was supposed to raise his hand and have a ring in his hand. Like, it went over there. But really, it was over here. And you can figure out how that passed out of this hand. All right. So the second trick is a pretty famous trick, so people might know it. But it's got the magic dollar store cups and dollar store sponges in there. I'm going to put this right here. I'm put these here. And the magic words. Never can never. Okay. Like, Peak performance. Peak performance. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. I know. Some people are impressed and some people are not. But let's see <laughs> if he does it twice. I'll put this one over here. One, two, three. Peak, Peak performance. performance. And there's two. <laughs> I'll go very slow. I'm going to put this on top. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Peak performance. Three of them. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, I guess. Okay. Does anybody bring a fourth little blue spongy thing? Yes. So I forgot that in my other luggage. Daniel's got it. You can just throw it to me in the air, Daniel. I'll catch it. Anybody got one to pull out of your pocket? Just, just. just all right, Steph, I'm going to put that one right here. All right? All right. And one, two, three. Peak performance. One, two, three, four. All right. Woo! All right. And the next trick, I'm going to give you a CF. You've got to tear it open and take four cards and pass it down. Any four cards. You've got to tear it open and pass it down and take four cards. We're going to try and do a magic trick. Everyone's going to do it together. And if I do it right, I think, I don't know, everybody gets three people that will work for it, and the three people who don't work for it don't follow the instructions correctly, or I messed up the trick. So you want to pick any four cards, it doesn't matter what you are. Shuffle. Any four cards. Let's go, let's see that shuffle. <laughs> Oh, you don't know how to shuffle. Okay. She has nails. Do you see those claws? I didn't know that. She does have any green. Yeah, I don't know right away. Four. Any four. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to skip me because I'm holding the camera. I don't want those four. 
Rich, Rich, you okay there? I'll take this. Can you buy some of these? They're already almost there. Yeah. Here we go. Here go. It doesn't, you don't have to shuffle. Just pick any four cards. It doesn't matter what they are. We're almost there. Okay, everyone can shuffle their four cards. You don't have to look at them, you can. Oh, wow. You took the card? Mm hmm. We're almost there. Do we play? I can take a few more. Which one is that? Yeah, well, that deck was just for the two of them. At this point, don't take cards from that deck. Actually, at this point, let's just put this as a whole deck and just take the next one so we can actually use this one for fighting. So I could get quadded on the river. <laughs> Bad memories. Okay, everyone's got four cards. That was cards. not fun. That was not fun, guys. Take your four cards and stack them in a pack like this. Put your thumbs in the middle. Oh, wait, say it again, say it again. Take your four cards. Stack them on top of each other. Take your thumbs in the middle. Tear your four cards right down the middle. Take like one pack in your right hand and put it on top of your left hand. Okay, I can't do that. One hand. Okay. Put the pack in your right hand, put it on top of your left hand. It should look like this. Right? All the same face. Okay. Now, everybody think of a number one through five. Don't say it out loud. Take that number that you thought, one through five, and go, I'm gonna say my number is four. You can have a different number. I'm gonna go one from the top, two from the top, three from the top, four from the top. Everyone take your number one through five, one from the top, two from the top, whatever you get, put that number on the bottom, okay? One at a time, one from the top, your um, number was two, take one from the top, take two from the top. Your number was three, one, okay. two, three, okay. Okay. Holly, pick a number one through five. Four. Four, everybody take one from the top, two from the top, three from the top, four from the top. Dean, pick number one through four. Three. Three. Everybody take one, two, three from the top, and put them in the middle of the deck. Three. Oh. In the middle. Good? Yes. We count from three. It's only up to three, Morgan. <laughs> so, everybody take the top card from your pack and put it in your pocket, put it on your table, don't look at it, just put it away. Okay. Pick number one through five. Two. Two. Take one, two, pass it to the person next to you. To the right? To the right. It doesn't matter. I'll go this way. Take those two cards, put them in the middle. Oh. Middle of your pack. Put those in the middle. Okay? Wait, now you have extra cards. Did you not get from Ethan? No. Ethan went that way? No. Did you get cards? Then you have to put Ashley. Put them in the middle. Ashley got it already. Okay, just leave them there. Well, anywhere in the middle. Here, give them back to it. Whatever. Give, give Ashley one of those two. Ashley, pick a number one through four. 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 One, two, three, four. Take four cards off the top. Put them in the middle. Okay. 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 Your deck. Okay. okay. Uh, Aaron, I'm going to pick up you later, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm using all these magic shows. Ethan, pick number one through three. Two. Two. Take one, two, pass to another person, put them in the middle. To another person. Oh, here. Go Take two way. off the top. Go this way. Take two off the top. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Okay. Here you go. This way. Okay. I'll take these. Ones. I'm very confused by what's going on. I think it's a whole lot okay. of nothing. Just nothing. Just nothing. Sure. nothing. Oh. Okay. Now. Put them in the middle. Take one from the top. No, I think you just leave them out. Put them on the bottom. Someone, someone doesn't have enough. Take one from the top. Throw it over your shoulder. Take one from the top. Put it on the bottom. Take it from the top, throw it over your shoulder. I like this game. Take it from the top, <laughs> put it on the bottom, take it from the top, throw it over your shoulder. Okay. Take it from the top, put it on the bottom, take it from the top, throw it over your shoulder. Take it from the top, put it on the bottom, throw it over your shoulder. Next one. Take it from the top, put it on the bottom, throw it over your shoulder. Now, to recap, we started with four cards. We tore them in half, we did a bunch of shuffling, we did a bunch of passing back and forth. And if this worked correctly, the single card that's left in everyone's hand should match up. With the card that's left. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. What? Let me see. Let me see, Mikey. Let me see, Mikey. Oh, the Joker. Let me see. Crazy. We have, we have two cards down here that probably should have gone to somebody, so that's probably why. It worked. It worked. How many did it work for? All right, so what we've learned here, oh, our left corner. side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. Our whole corner did it right. I was hoping for more. I was hoping for more. Okay. 
<laughs> Earlier tonight, before I came downstairs, I made a prediction. I wrote it. An eviction? Hog <laughs> said OG, so Hog is going to be the prediction holder. OG oh, is okay. Oh, you hold that. Okay. Double OGs. Yeah. Uh, some of us went Chips. to uh, a bunch of months ago, April, not seven months ago, and we went to different dinners, and I got the opportunity to go to dinner there. And these guys who put on dinner brought a magician in from New York. And the magician did all these crazy tricks, and most of them seem like impossible, like someone's in on it. But then he literally read Aaron Bond twice. Yeah. Called her up, she never met the guy before, and he said, think of a word. She thought of a word, and he guessed it, twice. And she came back and was like, that was crazy. And I was like, that was crazy. So I was like, I have to learn some kind of trick like this, because that was crazy. So I'm going to do a similar trick with Aaron today. I'm going to try and be Aaron Bond. <laughs> but instead of a word, I'm a numbers guy, so I'm going to do a number. So Aaron, you got to think of a number. One to a million. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Thinking of very deeply. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get two guesses, okay? Mm -hmm. My first guess, is it 123,456? No. Okay. So, I asked Aaron to think of a number she thought was very hard. I guess it was 123,456. It was not. She said no. Holly, can you open the prediction envelope? I will open the envelope. Wait a minute. <laughs> inside, it says. Is inside. There you go. <laughs> okay. Open up the envelope and show us the prediction. These are some well sealed envelopes. Mm -hmm. Dollar store quality. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no! Nailed it! <laughs> My final trick! <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys, welcome. 